Welcome back to another three questions in three minutes with our LGBTQ plus power players. I'm joined today by Desmond Picot, freelance photographer and art director for SACS. Desmond, thank you so much for joining me. Yes, thank you for having me. So how and when did you become interested in photography? Sure. So I've always been interested in photography. As a kid, it was something that I used, you know, to just kind of play by myself. I'm an only child. So I would wander around in my backyard, in my house, photographing beanie, beanie babies and, you know, <laughs> other random things I found. So it always was kind of a play thing for me. Um, and I have an older cousin, Elizabeth Pebnati, uh, who's a very successful photographer and she was the first person I really saw actually you know go to school for it and pursue it in a very serious way and she taught me that this can actually be a job and this is something worth pursuing so I think having her as a role model was really important for me and also my photography teacher in high school Sarah Mackwright she taught me most of the tools that set me up for success uh, when I first became a freelancer. So um, yeah, early on, just being exposed to it and having really strong photographers around me was important. They must have been wonderful uh, teachers and mentors because you actually recently had your work exhibited for the first time in Lyon, France. So congratulations, first of all. Thank you. <laughs> and what was, that, what was that like to see your work exhibited like that? Oh my gosh, it was thrilling, um, especially, you know, with the past couple of, of years in the pandemic and not really being able to travel. And then all of a sudden booking a flight to France to see my work uh, be displayed internationally. It was totally surreal. Um, and it was also part of an exhibition on the visual history of uh, feminist uh, movements. So it was just such an honor to be considered a part of that discussion. And um, yeah, to see my work displayed amongst historical texts and world renowned artists and really cool multimedia pieces, and to also be able to travel with some of my loved ones. So yeah, it was amazing to be able to leave the country after these few years. And then just, yeah, mind blowing to hear people talking in other languages about my work. Yeah, that's incredible. That sounds, all of it sounds amazing, especially the travel. Yes. <laughs> um, so photography has long been considered political and I'm thinking specifically of the censorship of Robert Maplethorpe, as well as the current discussion that's taking place around whether or not to show photographs of gun violence victims. Um, and so I, I wonder from you, do you understand your work to be political? And if so, how so? Yes, I do understand my work to be political. Um, I approach my work in a very political way, and I think that's important. Whether I'm making images that are meant for advertisement or doing headshots or working on a personal project, I understand that people are going to project their own biases onto these images, but also these images have an opportunity to show the world in a new way. And, you know, as a queer person, I really do focus my work a lot on my community and trying to represent the diversity of the queer community. And, you know, there are so many aspects of the queer experience that a lot of people have either stereotypes about or are not properly exposed to and my images and hopefully, you know, others as well, um, definitely have the opportunity to showcase how diverse this experience can be and show that all these people are valid and are worthy of being seen as beautiful. Yeah, wonderful. And I think too, photography is uh, accessible. It's it's something that's more accessible than rational argument or a debate. Or I mean, those kinds of engagements are not always the most productive. And sometimes a photo can say so much more or invite a conversation that otherwise wouldn't take place. So Exactly. It's really exciting to, to see your work and to follow you. And thank you for being an LGBTQ plus power player. Of course, thank you so much for bestowing me with that title. It's amazing. 